all you lovely people. I love y'all to the moon and back. And as you guys saw by the title, there's no need for an explanation. Let's get straight on into the video. The world is split in half. On the left lives the werewolves, on the right dwell the vampires. These two creatures are not supposed to meet or for goodness have some type of relationship. But one specific day, it all changed. You're waking up to hear your maid scatter around and pulled you out of from bed and started dressing you. Today was the day of the blood bank picking, and the w werewolves and vampires would come to the center and meet the prince for the f of the first no of the first vampire kingdom, which is a blood bank. Ironically, today was also the day where the first werewolf prince would choose his newest mate, and all the princesses would come around the globe and find out who the new mate for the new prince is. These two events are the only excuses to get near a werewolf or a vampire. After you got dressed, your maids quickly packed up your things and handed and headed for the middle. You were the second princess of the vampires. You were the only daughter of your family. You were highly sought out by many princes, but you just simply turned them all down. Time skipped to 30 minutes later. Woo. <laughs> when you got there, pe all everyone stopped immediately. They were all looking straight at you, all of them admiring your beauty. After about 20 seconds of whispering and staring, they all slowly went back to work. While you still hardly noticed four pairs of eyes on you were still captive by you. Bakugo's POV. This shitty trash is always- I don't want to find a mate. None of these girls even come near my standards. To think of myself, I suddenly- As I think to myself, a car suddenly pulls over what looked like a really fancy one at that. Now, things are getting interesting. Suddenly, a girl with long, white, and piercing violet eyes walk out. To be honest, I was stunned. I felt like I couldn't move at all. All I could do was stare. The huge crowd did the same. After a while, I knew whoever the girl was, she'd better be my soulmate, because I want to be hers. Fuck, what am I thinking? I've completely fallen for her. Hopefully that damn half and half doesn't have his eyes on the same prey. But who wouldn't, right? Todoroki's POV. As boring as ever, all I care about right now is getting this over with. But there's a girl with long, silky white hair and amazing indigo violet eyes. She was something to behold. Hopefully her blood tastes amazing, because I want her to be my personal blood bank. All to myself. Honestly, that as that mutt dog has her eyes on her too, oh well, I'll just get to her first. Guard. We'll start the event now. As everyone's crowds get into line, you, you go behind since you're a princess, and you don't want to put yourself in a mosh pit. That'd be very unladylike. You are the first in line. Again, you're a princess. The first one goes in the blood bank. You meet the prince, Todoroki. He smirks at you, eyeing obliviously. Bakugo notices and gives you a little. As he pulls, as the guard pulls out a needle to take some of your blood, he puts it in a cup and sets it aside. Thank you for doing this, princess. Your name. No need to thank me. After you go to Ruler Bakugo's area, he also gives you a little smirk, and Todoroki hisses in return. For some reason, wolves can smell their soulmates. She starts to walk towards Bokugo, he stands up and gives a good sniff of her. He smiled. Hey, thanks again for doing this. The red spiky hair of male says, Oh, no problem at all, you replied. After the event, which lasted almost three and a half hours, everyone started packing up. At the end of every, every event, both three royals, including you, would meet at the very center of the world to greet each other for another year. The three meet up, both Todoroki and Bakugo are <laughs> giving each other death glares. I mean, if looks can kill, man. <laughs> Baku, both of you stop, stare at you in awe. Bakugo's POV, damn, why does she have to be so fucking adorable all the time? Her scent is amazing. Why does damn half and half have to ruin it? Oh shoot, crap, I'm staring at her. Suddenly Bakugo looks away, trying to hide his red face and doesn't realize Todoroki is doing the same. Hello, you lovely people. I love you to the moon and back, and see you next time.